Each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics, which can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Easterwood Airport is a medium-sized multi-use airport located just southwest of the city of College Station, Texas. During college football season, it becomes a very busy airport due to its proximity to Texas A&M University. This activity usually generates a temporary flight restriction around the stadium, located less than two miles northeast of the airport. Check NOTAMs, especially if you plan to visit during the football season. It serves the air carrier, corporate, business, and general aviation, as well as military communities. There is a flight school and several flying clubs located on the field. The flight school provides training from pre-solo to advanced ratings. This mix of pilot experience and aircraft capability makes CLL an interesting place to fly and work. There is a large firefighting school situated on the eastern edge of the airport. Controlled fires for student firefighters are commonplace and often produce large plumes of smoke. This smoke may often concern the first-time visitor to the field, but it is a common occurrence at Easterwood. The runway configuration consists of two intersecting runways labeled Runway 1735 and Runway 1129. The complex taxiway system provides access to all GA services located east of Runway 1735 and the air carrier terminal located west of Runway 1735. Pilots inbound, primarily from the west and northwest, are cautioned that there is a deactivated Air Force base located approximately eight miles northwest of Easterwood. This former airfield has a similar appearance and surface configuration to Easterwood Airport. Though this airfield, formerly Bryan Air Force Base, was deactivated decades ago, the land and buildings were deeded to Texas A&M University shortly after it closed. Because of this, this former field's land is utilized by the university, and pilots may occasionally see surface vehicles and activity on this property. Being aware of this is helpful, as this property can contribute to pilot confusion for those approaching Easterwood Airport. In addition, if you are arriving after dark, the airport has been reported as hard to locate due to the surrounding lights from the city and the college. At many airports across the country, Changes in the protected areas of the runway, such as the runway safety area, have necessitated the movement of the hold short lines further from the runway center line than pilots may ordinarily expect. Occasionally, pilots may find the placement of these hold short lines unusual, or in some cases, pilots may miss them entirely, taxiing past them and causing a runway incursion. This has affected Easterwood Airport in two distinct areas. Hotspot number one is located on Taxiway Bravo between Juliet and the approach end of runway 11. Pilots have missed the location of the hold short line and inadvertently entered the runway without a clearance. Continual scanning outside the aircraft for surface markings, above ground signage, and warning lights will help pilots avoid this type of error. On the other hand, Aircraft landing runway 1735 and clearing at Taxiway Bravo, or Charlie 1, have stopped well short of the hold short line. Remember, to be considered clear of the runway, you must be completely across the hold short line for that runway. Although not listed as hotspots, there are two other areas of which first-time visitors need to be aware. The first is the intersection of Taxiway's Hotel, Echo, and Bravo. This is simply a complex intersection which can be potentially confusing. The second concerns aircraft parked east of Taxi Lane Lima and entering the movement area without a clearance. You must have appropriate ATC authorization to cross the single solid, single dashed line, which delineates the movement area. In both instances, a complete understanding of your taxi clearance, including route, turns, and hold short instructions before you begin to taxi will help mitigate this type of mistake. Of course, if you are ever in doubt of any instruction or even your own position on the field, the easiest answer is ask the tower. They are there to help. Being aware of the hotspot, 
and other configuration challenges at CLL will help pilots make better decisions and along with the ATC tower, keep the operations safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Easterwood Airport. It's always better to know before you go.